In this special effects makeup video, we are going to be going and making a fake scar with Mehran brand Rigid Collodion. So let's go and get started. Now it should be noted before we go and do this tutorial that Rigid Collodion needs to be used properly and you cannot put it into any areas where you have hair or onto your eyelids, your mouth, or anything like that. This is what you're going to need for the makeup. Alcohol wipe, Rigid Collodion, pink, and also red cosmetic, and some toothpicks. So let's start off with the alcohol wipe. I'm cleaning my skin, which you should definitely do. I also shaved my face about three days ago before doing this makeup, so I didn't have extra hair that might have been pulled out. Now what we're going to go and do after the alcohol has dried is you're going to go and draw on your face with a pink lip liner. Go and put down exactly where you want to go and put this scar, and really just kind of think how a scar might form. I'm going from the edge of my eyebrow because I do not want the rigid collodion in my eyebrow at all, and now I'm adding some darker areas into where some of the pockets, if I feel the scar, would be deeper. I'm going for a scar look that has pretty much just healed, so it's going to have a lot of reds and some pinks to it. Fill in the area where this is going to go and follow, and this larger pocket that is here, I'm definitely filling in at least on one side with a bit of this darker cosmetic. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking the alcohol wipe and I'm just slightly dabbing it just to make it look a little bit less perfect and precise as to where the line is. Now onto the rigid collodion. You do not put this into your eye or around your eye. The barrier of where my glasses are is a good guide. So the first layer is going down. After this layer has gone down, you're going to wait for them to dry each and every time. They need to fully and totally dry before you put on the next layer. If you have sensitive skin, please do consider putting something onto your skin before you go and put this makeup down. Prosade is usually a really good type of cosmetic that you can go and put down or some sort of protective barrier spray, just because if you really have sensitive skin, this might actually go and possibly hurt your skin. Special effects makeup does tend to be pretty harsh on the skin. Always better safe than sorry when using special effects makeup, and always to read the directions as to how they use the makeup before you apply it. My Rigid Collodion ended up drying out a bit. This is really the last leg of my product but that's okay it still is working which is good and i'm putting on the last layer now now after it is dried as you can see i'm putting cosmetic over my eye but i am not putting any rigid collodion over my eye and again as a safety reminder to go and use this product safely you do not put this makeup over your eye under your eye on your mouth in your eye over your eyebrow or into your hairline it is not safe for any of those uses now as you can see this is pretty shiny so i'm using some color set powder this powder is great, it's pretty much along the lines of what you would use for like talcum powder or baby powder, but I'm using a very small amount of it, and I'm just going to go and dab it against all of the areas where the rigid collodion is, and also where the other makeup over my eye is. So I'm just lightly brushing this. Where the actual regular grease paint makeup is, it's not going to go and do anything. It'll just go and help to keep the colors stay there, and keep the makeup there longer. And this is what my fake scar makeup ended up looking like, after the end result. It looks really real, and it's crazy what this type of makeup can go and do. As you can see, it doesn't really move around too much. My skin where it is pulled in is pretty stiff, but it looks extremely real, and that little bit of red and pink added to it, plus also the color set powder, really just makes it look like a real scar. This is great for Halloween. This is great for cosplay. This is really great for any occasion, but how do you take it off? Now you can use 99% isopropyl alcohol to go and break up the rigid collodion, but the safest methods of going and getting this makeup off would be using spirit gum remover along with also a petroleum jelly or an oil-based compound to go and remove this. Oil-based compound would be like coconut oil. So while you're breaking this makeup down, you want to use circular motions, and the rigid collodion does end up actually peeling up a little bit, so you need to get under it before you really go and try to move it at all. Petroleum jelly is also your best friend. What it'll do is it'll help to release the sides so you can go and get off pretty much anything else. Plus also too, it works the best for removing grease makeup, which it's the safest and best bet for using over your eye. And it's the easiest and it works as great makeup remover for any grease makeup. You can see here I have a little bit extra left on my forehead of the Rigid Collodion. Just in a circular motion I'm going and it'll just pretty much lift off small pieces to large pieces of Rigid Collodion and help it remove it from my skin. After the makeup is off, you can see that there's still a little bit of the red cosmetic left here, plus also to the area where my skin was pulled in. It's just a little red. That'll go away after about 20 to 30 minutes of removing this makeup. But always remember, before you go and use a different type or a new type of makeup that you've never used before, always do a patch test on your wrist 
and make sure you do not have any allergic reactions and it does not burn. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, take care and have a happy spooky season.